Today we'll be making a high protein bar. Welcome to Grabany, home of great music and extremely healthy recipes. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of amaranth seeds. Amaranth seeds have a higher protein content than quinoa, as one cup of amaranth will yield about 9.5 grams of protein. The seeds are noticeably smaller than quinoa seeds, but they pack a ton of nutrients. In the raw state, these seeds are quite hard, so before we proceed to making our bars, I'm going to show you how to pop them over the stove. Let's do this. Place a pan on medium high heat and allow it to heat up. Drop in a couple of seeds. If they pop, you know your pan is hot enough. Give it a shake to make sure all of the seeds are making contact with the pan. Once the seeds have popped, you can set them aside or eat them, then return the pan to the stove. Now we can add our seeds to the pan. Ideally, we're supposed to add one tablespoon at a time, but I'm in a hurry. Cover the pan so your kitchen doesn't end up looking like Antarctica. Once some of the seeds have popped, lift up the pan, give it a vigorous shake and return it to the stove. If your pan is hot enough, all of the popping action will happen within seconds. Once you're done, pour your popped seeds into a bowl and allow to cool down. For maximum popping results, use a deep pot with the lid off. If you absolutely have to cover it, use a splatter guard. I couldn't find mine today. There you go, that's your popped amaranth. You absolutely don't have to, but if you want to, you can get rid of some of the unpopped seeds. To do so, add your seeds to a strainer or a wire mesh sieve. Vigorously shake and tap the sieve until the unpopped seeds fall out. Once you're done, set it aside. Over here, I have some medjool dates. These dates are high in potassium and they help support nervous system functions. Dates are high in fiber and they contain a potent mix of antioxidants such as phenolic acid, flavonoids and carotenoids. These antioxidants are known to fight inflammation and they support heart health. Cut your dates open and remove the seeds. I just found out that date seeds can be used as a coffee replacement. Hey, since you're already here, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Once you've removed all of the seeds from your dates, we're going to pour some hot water over them. Set them aside and let them soak for about 5 to 10 minutes. This will help soften them up. Sorry, I forgot to wipe my food processor. Over here, I have some walnuts. Walnuts are high in very good fat and one cup of walnuts contain about 12 grams of protein. They are significantly high in DHA, which is known to protect brain health. Add one cup or more to a food processor. Next, we have raw Brazil nuts, which are significantly high in protein. They contain about 19 grams of protein per cup. Add about a quarter cup to half a cup of Brazil nuts. Over here, I have about 2 tablespoons of goji berries, which is about 0.4 grams of protein. Goji berries contain about 4 grams of protein per cup. Next, we have dried cherries. These contain an abundance of vitamin A. They are not a good source of protein, but they are great immune boosters. I'm adding a quarter cup for their sweetness and tartness. Check this out. It's so beautiful. It feels like I should just add some plant-based milk and devour it. Oh yeah, and you can also add some coconut flakes if you want to. Process to your desired size or texture. I feel this is good enough, and I like that most of the goji berries are still intact. And I'm going to get some questions in the comment section. Yes, you can add any dried fruits, nuts, and seeds of your choice. Our dates have been soaking in hot water for about 10 minutes and it's time to blend them. Drain and add your dates to a blender cup. Soak your dates for longer if you don't have a powerful blender. We're going to add 1 cup of tahini, which, to put it simply, is blended sesame seeds. 1 cup contains about 41.6 grams of protein. As I mentioned in my video from years ago, tahini is a very good peanut butter replacement. Our dates, tahini and coconut oil will serve as binders for our bars. Add half a cup of room temperature coconut oil, which is high in good saturated fats. Next, add some pure sea salt and adjust to taste. To enhance the flavor and to add a bit of spice, I'm going to be adding a pinch or two of cayenne pepper. 
add a quarter teaspoon of sale and cinnamon. Add one teaspoon of coconut aminos. Give it a blend until it turns into a thick paste. If you're having some trouble blending it, shake it a couple times and blend again. Vegans, you can add some pure vanilla extract if you wish. Here you go. Warning, if you taste this, you might just end up swimming in it. It's so good. Add your paste to a really large bowl. Alkali Vegans, if you can find a good bread recipe, this would be a good spread. Next, add one and a half cups of blended nuts and dried fruit. Add half a cup of shelled hemp hearts, which will be about 10 grams of protein. Next, we're going to add our popped amaranth seeds, which have increased in size to about two cups. Using the spatula, we're going to mix everything to combine. Make sure everything is properly coated in the date and tahini paste. Once you're done, we're going to move it to the side. You can taste this and make adjustments if you want. Also, you can add some milk and eat it as is. Add a few drops of grapeseed oil to a baking pan lined with some parchment paper. Spread the oil with a silicone brush, then add your bar mix to the pan. Evenly spread the bar mix or raw granola with the silicone spatula. Once it's spread evenly, press down with your silicone spatula to close any gaps and seal it. Once you're done, place a fresh parchment paper over it and press down with your full weight. Keep pressing down until you feel it's fully compressed and sealed. If you don't feel like doing all this work, simply press down with the second baking pan. Now we're going to place this in the fridge and let it chill for about 2 hours or in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour. Let's make a healthy chocolate replacement. Over here, I have a quarter cup of carob powder. This is more for my vegan subscribers, however, some alkaline vegans use it because its pH is about 6.5. It could vary in pH value, but 6.5 is generally a safe bet. It tastes like dark chocolate and you get lots of benefits without the caffeine. Growing up, I used to see lots of carob trees. I wish I knew back then. Add a quarter cup of carob powder to a large bowl. Next, add some sea salt to taste. Add a pinch of cayenne pepper for flavor and spice. Over here, I have a quarter cup of date sugar for some texture and sweetness. Add your date sugar, then mix your dry ingredients. Add some agave syrup and adjust to taste. I added four tablespoons. Add one and a half tablespoons of coconut aminos. Add half a cup of room temperature coconut oil. Mix really well to combine. There you have it. Here's your vegan and almost alkaline chocolate ganache. Set it aside and take a look at this. Flip it onto a chopping board. Cut it in half, then flip it around and cut it into bars. You can cut them as thick or thin as you want. Let's take a look at one of the bars. The bars are beautiful and they hold together nicely and as you can see, this one is not falling apart. There are huge chunks of nuts and fruits in them and I'm saving this particular one for myself. I didn't do a good job at cutting it but I'm sure you can do a better job. As I mentioned earlier, the bars hold together nicely but they also break apart with ease. If you're greedy like me, you could go ahead and cut yourself a wider bar. It goes without saying, the wider the bars, the higher the calories. You can store these bars in the fridge for up to 5 days or in the freezer for up to a month. It'll come out tasting even better and it'll hold together even more. If you're feeling fancy, you could also cut them into small squares. Smaller squares are good for calorie management and for handing out to kids. 
These will look great on your charcuterie board. Also, transforming them into a ball is really easy. All you have to do is squeeze them to make them more compact, then roll. Here you go, this is sorcery. So this looks great, but as you already know, over here at Grabany, we push it to the limit. Dip and roll the ball in your carob ganache. When you're done, shake and place it on a wire rack. You can do the same for a few bars. To harden up the shell, refrigerate for up to an hour. I know it doesn't look as glorious as it should be, but I'm making this for myself and I could easily redo it and make it much more presentable, but eh, yeah, I don't care. It's not like this is a Steven Spielberg production or anything. To make them more presentable, you could dip them using toothpicks. Anyway, that's all I have for you today and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash that like button. I'll see you all next week.